Hi everyone! I'm Mariel and welcome to Perspective. You cannot live a positive life kapag negatron ka when you stay negative all day. That is why the purpose of my video is to fill your mind with positive thoughts para magkaroon tayo ng right perspective towards life. And I want to begin by asking how to have the right motives. Meron akong funny story sa inyo. May dalawang lalaking namatay. But just before they enter heaven, sinalubong sila ni St. Peter. Tinanong ni St. Peter yung unang lalaki. Sabi niya, anong pangalan mo at anong trabaho mo? So sabi ng lalaki, ako po si Juan de la Cruz, isang tricycle driver. So St. Peter looked at his list and then he gave the man a golden staff, gintong tungkod. And then he let the man enter heaven. Dun sa sumunod, St. Peter asked the same question. Anong pangalan mo at anong trabaho mo? So with all confidence, itong lalaking to sabi niya, I am John Reyes. I am a pastor. So again, St. Peter looked at his list and then he gave the man a wooden staff. Kahoy na tungkod. So nagprotesta si John Reyes, sabi niya, Excuse me, St. Peter, I think there's something wrong. You gave the tricycle driver a golden staff, pero ako, pastor, ang binigay mo lang sa akin, wooden staff. So sabi ni St. Peter, Iho, lahat ng ginagawa namin dito, nakabase sa mga nagawa nyo. When you preach, People sleep, but when he drives, people pray. <laughs> so, hindi ko alam kung may relate natin tung funny story na to sa topic natin today. Because our topic for today is about motives. What you do is important. But why you do what you do? Sabi nga sa 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 4. Dapat daw ang purpose natin is to please God, not people. Meaning to say, hindi lang pala actions natin ang importante. Motives matters. Why you do what you do. We have three kinds of motives. Number one, problematic. Number two, partial. And number three, pure. At dito tayo sa pure motives gusto makarating. Gagawin kong example yung ginagawa ko ngayon. Problematic. Preaching is a good thing to do, yes? But what if I do this preaching for the purpose of problematic motive? Gusto ko lang sumikat, gusto ko lang makilala, gusto ko lang mapalakpakan, or in this case, gusto ko lang mamonetize itong mga vlogs ko sa YouTube. Problematic yan. I might be doing something good, but my motive is not good. Ano itong partial? What if I do this preaching just to express myself? Just to make me feel fulfilled? Yung bang may express ko lang yung gusto ko sabihin, tapos okay na ako, solved na ako. It might look good, but it's lacking. Kulang siya kasi ginagawa ko lang yung para sa sarili ko. Lahat ng gusto kong gawin, hindi naman masama. Pero, masaya ba ako? Nararamdaman ko ba yung deep joy that God wants me to have? Number three is pure motives. Alam nyo, nung first time, the very first time na nag-preach ako, ang dami kong audience. Lima. <laughs> Kaya ganadong-ganado ako nung mag-preach, ang dami kong kwento, tapos na-deliver ko talaga sa kanila yung wisdom ko. Tapos sabi ko sa kanila, oh, next week ulit, ha? So, before that next week, ang ginawa ko, nag-prepare ako. Nagbasa ako ng mga topics tungkol sa ipipreach ko. Only to find out, pagdating nung next week na yun, Dalawa na lang ang audience ko. 
Nawalan ako ng gana. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi binabase ko yung ginagawa ko sa numbers. Kapag maraming audience, ganado ako. Pag konti ang audience, ayokong gawin yun. But do you know what I've learned about preaching? Don't perform, share. Impart your wisdom to people. Guide them. Bless them without expecting anything in return. Yes, you might be helping people right now. But do you have the pure motives? Or baka naman para sumikat ka lang? Baka naman pag nagkaroon ka ng bashers, eh, immediately you stop helping. You might be holding on to that relationship. But do you do it really for the sake of love? Or baka naman para sa convenience mo lang? Baka naman gusto mo lang magkaroon ng katuwang, ng katulong sa buhay. Tapos kapag nakaramdam ka na ng mga suffering, away na. Hiwalayan na. In other words, are you doing things with the right reason? And there's only one way to do that. Make God be the reason. Let Jesus be your motive. Let Him be the center of whatever you do. Lord, gagalingin ko sa trabaho ko sa office for you. Lord, I will serve my customers well in my business for you. I will be a husband for you. I will be a wife for you. I will be a student for you. Make Jesus the center of your life. And that is how to have the right motive. And I pray, may the Lord give you clear mind and an open heart to receive the message of this video. Amen. Thanks for watching and I hope that you are inspired by this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified sa mga latest uploads ko. Remember, be a blessing to people around you. Share this video. See you next time!